The SureStep Male External Catheter Kit from Bard is a condom catheter kit that provides everything that is needed for placement of this device in one convenient location. With accurate sizing and an advanced adhesive, this catheter is not only easier to use, but more effective at managing urine in male patients than products previously used at St. Mary Mercy Hospital. This video will demonstrate the use of this kit when placing a male external catheter. At St. Mary Mercy Livonia, external catheters are a nursing intervention that can be used on patients, both male and female, if they meet the requirements for use. These requirements are listed on the urinary catheter decision tree, which can be found on the units or through Policy Manager. Indications for appropriate use for external catheters include monitoring output that does not require hourly measurement, incontinence or frequent urinating, difficulty walking from bed to chair or toilet, difficulty using a bedpan, post-procedural immobility, moisture-related injury due to incontinence, or bed rest orders. They are contraindicated for use with urinary retention or obstruction, skin irritation in the peri or penile area, with uncooperative or combative patients that would remove the catheter, the latex allergy technically only applies with the use of Purewick female external catheters. The male catheter is made of silicone. The SureStep kit provides you with everything you will need to place the condom catheter, including three sizes of catheter, the drainage bag, and a stat lock. But the catheter will need to be replaced daily at a minimum, so individual replacement catheters are also available. On the back of the kit, there is an explanation of the contents and directions for use. The packaging is perforated for easy opening. When you open the kit, you will see the contents laid out in an organized, step-by-step -step system, much like other SureStep kits. Step one is to trim the pubic hair if necessary. With our dummy, this is not necessary, so we'll move on to step two, which is to perform peri care with the provided wipes. The wipe packaging shows the three steps to use all three wipes to clean the penis. The first wipe is used to clean the head of the penis, starting at the urethral meatus and cleaning in a circular fashion around the head. The second wipe is used to clean the shaft, also cleaning in a circular pattern. And the third is for cleaning the scrotum. Step three is to dry the anatomy. Use the provided towel to dry the patient before placing the catheter. Step four is to determine the appropriate size of catheter. The kit has a sizing guide included. Remove the rectangular guide from the package and use the color-coded sections to find the best fit for the patient. The openings of the sizing guide are color-coded to match the packaging of the different sizes of catheter. This patient fits a blue catheter. Step five is to now select the appropriate MEC or male external catheter. We'll go to the kit and remove the blue catheter from the tray. The kit includes orange, green, and blue catheters, as those are the most commonly used sizes. The sizing guide also shows a purple catheter. If the patient fits this size, the catheter will need to be ordered from distribution. Step six is to connect the comfort bridge. This is the name of a flexible tube that bridges the catheter to the drainage bag tubing. It provides a much more comfortable experience for the patient, as this material is able to more easily adapt to patient movement. Condom catheters that were previously utilized had the rigid tubing connected directly to the condom catheter. This was potentially very uncomfortable for the patient, but also caused the catheters to more likely be dislodged as the tubing fought and pulled against the patient's movement. Simply push the end of the catheter spout into the open end of the comfort bridge tubing. Step 7 is to unroll the catheter over the penis. Remove the white cover from the catheter and gently place the catheter over the tip of the penis. There should be space between the urethral meatus and the catheter spout. This space works as a reservoir to collect the urine before it goes through the tubing. There is no adhesive in this portion of the catheter. As you roll the catheter over the penis, you will notice adhesive that is present for the length of the catheter. This is also an upgrade from the previous catheter that was used, which had a very limited and ineffective adhesive. Step 8 is to gently squeeze the catheter to properly seal the adhesive. Ultimately, this step ensures that the catheter material is in contact with the skin at all points. This helps avoid leaks and ensures that the catheter will remain in place. Step 9 is to secure with the provided stat lock. This is a different device than is used for Foley catheters. This stat lock has one straight opening on the clamp to secure the drainage tube, unlike the Foley stat lock that secures over the Y-shaped bifurcation in the tubing. The stat lock should be placed midway down the patient's thigh. Prepare the patient with a provided skin prep swab before adhering to the skin. With the stat lock in place, clamp the tubing into the stat lock. The catheter tubing should not be so tight on the catheter as to cause it to pull the catheter when the patient moves, but should also not be so loose as to cause dependent loops between the stat lock and the patient. Step 10 is to hang the bag below the patient's bladder. Place the bag in the same location as is used for Foley catheter drainage bags. This is the rectangular cutout in the frame of the bed. This is also used for restraint placement. Step 11 is to use the green sheet clip to position the tubing to avoid dependent loops. Since gravity is the only force moving urine from the patient into the bag, 
the tubing should always provide a downward flow to the urine until it reaches the bag. For more information and strategies on avoiding dependent loops, you can watch the linked video. At least every 24 hours, the condom catheter must be replaced. Also replace the catheter if it is ever damaged or is no longer adhering to the patient. First, obtain a replacement catheter from the pod room. The bags for the replacement catheters are color-coded for easy identification, so if your patient has a blue spout on their existing catheter, you will know that you need to get a replacement catheter that is packaged in blue. Remove the existing catheter by gently rolling it off the penis. If you are not replacing the catheter, but simply removing it, another nice feature of this device is that the adhesive leaves little to no sticky residue on the patient. This is also a significant upgrade from previous products. If you are replacing the catheter, remove the condom from the comfort bridge tubing. The drainage tube and bag will continue to be used. You will only be replacing the condom, so attach the new condom to the tubing and reapply to the patient. Using the same method of cleaning, drying, and application as was initially used, all of the replacement catheters are packaged with the wipes, towel, and condom to make this possible. The SureStep male external catheter is an effective method of managing urine in male patients that experience incontinence or have difficulty using other means of toileting. It is a marked improvement over products that have been utilized in the past. It is also less invasive and poses significantly less risk of developing infections than the use of indwelling Foley catheters. At St. Mary Mercy, an external catheter is a nursing intervention and does not require a physician order for use.